Are we still evolving? Yes. The famous African Homo sapiens who colonised Europe and the rest of the world in the final wave 50,000 years ago and <clears throat> displaced Neanderthals and others had much bigger brains than we do now. Their brains were so much bigger, we actually call them Cro-Magnons. They are our direct ancestor, but we're sort of a smaller brain subspecies now. So why is this? We've all been taught how brains got bigger. We got better at making and using tools, which helped us get better food. And in turn, our brain size increased even more making us the smartest and most dominant species today. Well, this might not be strictly true on the smartest humans living today front. Cro-Magnons have even been said by some to have an average brain of 1800cc versus our average of 1350cc. So they definitely had bigger brains Neanderthals also had bigger brains than we do now. Their extra brain size is in the rear part of the brain though, and that's generally associated with control of the body and visual information processing. Cro-Magnons also had more brain here, which makes sense because they were also more physically able than we are. But their frontal cortex still appear bigger as well which is the area of the brain most associated with our intelligence. Skulls from as little as 500 years ago are also noticeably bigger than ours are today. And IQ scores are dropping between four and seven points on average between each generation, depending on which study you listen to. So it is clear that we're actually still evolving to lose brain size and problem-solving ability. The question is, why would we evolve to get dumber? There's lots of different theories and studies on this, including one hypothesis, that our brains are actually compacting, like in microchip evolution. But given the constant drop in average IQ, this doesn't seem to fully explain things. Let me know in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see a video exploring these various theories in detail. Also, let us know your theory. In this humbled channel's opinion, the theory that most likely explains our shrinking brains is how social we've become. Cro-Magnons leaving Africa and sometimes aggressively colonising the rest of the world couldn't have moved in massive groups like the cities we live in today. Individuals would have had to be reasonably independent to survive, know how to source food, build shelters and how to cross seas and so on and so on. Once they had fully homo sapienized the world and there were no more other competing homo species anymore. We can possibly say that's been in the last 20,000 years. It's then that humans began to live in much larger stationary groups. It's theorised when this began, smaller brained individuals who were only experts in specific tasks, like hunting or shipbuilding were able to rely on people with different specialities for things they couldn't accomplish themselves. The theory goes that larger brained, more independent homo sapiens were less successful in this environment compared to the smaller brained individuals who cooperated with each other, leading to more reproductive success in the latter. And many generations later, here we are, a dumber and more cooperative species. The thing is, we don't need the brain power of humans who laid the foundations for the modern world did. Each generation after has stood on their shoulders. We've now even built a collective knowledge system 
that gives every individual access to knowledge accumulated over thousands of years. We don't need big brains if we cooperate, but if we lose cooperation, we'll now lose it all. Thanks for watching. This is a new channel. If you'd like to see more content, please like and subscribe. It would be really appreciated.